more Skywatcher news. Found these ones on Facebook. This is a new harmonic drive mount from Skywatcher. I think this is not unexpected and some might say slightly late to the party, but it's well worth having a look at this. There's very little information. I found this photo on Facebook and I also found this photo on Facebook as well, um, which is basically a screenshot of a presentation. And of course, they're really difficult to read, but I've been looking carefully through them to try and find out some information. So looking at this, there are two mounts available. The Harmonic Equatorial Mount Wave 150i, and then there's also the 100i. And it looks as if, from the information I've got about this mount, this one, which is the 150i, has a loading capacity of 15 kilos without a counterweight, but with a counterweight, it would be 23 kilos. So that puts it into an EQ6 size payload capacity, which is really good. And the actual weight of the mount, I can read clearly there, it says 5.8 kilograms. Now I know that my AZ EQ6 weighs as much as a small car and therefore is quite tricky to lift. So to have a 5.8 kilogram mount is really good. Now it says here, um, I can't quite read that, it's, I think that's motor method, but it does definitely say stepper motors, so it's stepper motors which you'd expect. Interestingly it says right ascension clutch design. I can see it says facilities something adjustment. So maybe it has a clutch that you can unlock to adjust it. I don't know. It also has a latitude adjustment here uh, from zero to, I'm assuming that's 90 degrees. So I think this will give you that um, adjustment here. And that's obviously the locking screw. And then that's the adjusting screw for the latitude. So you can adjust it. So in this mode, it's obviously in alt as, and then you'd adjust it to be in equatorial mode. It then says quite clearly with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So it's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which is good to know. And the operating voltage is 12 volts DC. I couldn't quite see the connector. We'll have another look at the photo in a minute and see if we can see the connector. It then talks about the current consumption and the maximum slew speed. So it's 10 degrees per second at, it says here, 2,400 times speed. Um, it has some kind of, that looks like protection. So some kind of maybe axis protection if it gets, if you have cable snags, maybe. Um, initial position, RA and deck set to initial position, I think that says. It has a limit function on both RA and deck with a limit function. It says here latitude dial with uh, a level bubble feature with an illumination display so maybe that's for leveling the mount maybe and then I can't read that bit there and dimensions which fairly typical size really um, interestingly we've got the I think azimuth adjustment there latitude adjustment there that is the locking there and if I'm right, this is a right ascension clutch, I think. Let's have a look at the photo now. First thing I can see, this is in alt as mode. And they've called it HD5 harmonic drive mount here. It's really difficult to read. I can't see too much on this one here. So let's look at the photos. So this is the saddle that we can see here. And clearly the saddle has some connectivity on the side. They look to be power ports. Again, all this is speculation. I'm completely guessing, really. Uh, so they look to be power ports. That looks to be a bit like a Cat5 connector. It's difficult to tell. And I'm not sure what that is. That could be a USB. 
who knows that could be a usb as well i don't know it's very difficult um to see that looks to be a dual saddle so it has a los mandy and also a vixen plate ability there and also it's clamping rather than a screw going in that's fantastic because i hate having my dovetails damaged again this is the um, latitude lock bolt and obviously that's part of the latitude adjust that i think is the azimuth adjust for when you're polar aligning and then that will be the latitude um, adjustment itself now if we zoom in we can see some proper connections here so that one there which we can just see is a usb so that's a usb and that one there i think that says hand controller so that's interesting if it has a hand controller potentially it can be used as a standalone item without a computer which increases the accessibility for those who don't wish to use computers which is good then it looks to be some kind of power socket which is there but these could be power sockets as well and there's an additional socket there so we've got saddle connectivity and we've got the usual connectivity here on the side now one thing i did notice this is clearly sat on a normal skywatcher tripod it looks to be maybe an eq6 or an eq5 tripod that's also very interesting because it means your harmonic drive mount will sit on your existing tripod if you happen to have one of those but it also means it's compatible with lots of different tripods that are out there this knob here i think is really interesting because if that is a clutch to allow you to move the actual right ascension i don't think there's another harmonic drive mount on the market which does that it might not be that though i could be completely wrong i usually am um, I wonder if we can get anything from this photo here. Oh, it's a real shame we can't see the connectivity to the side from these pictures. That would be really useful to see. I'm also really interested what that silver thing is there. It doesn't look like a power connection, but it might be a power connection. I genuinely don't know. So there we go. Skywatcher, another new product out on the market, or a couple of products if there are two of them. A new harmonic drive mount joining the Skywatcher brand.